This video will demonstrate some of the new features of Retina Engrave 3D. Just like previous versions, you can simply use any program, hit print, and select the full spectrum engineering driver. After you print it, the image is automatically pushed to Retina Engrave 3D. From here, you can select and change the speed and power settings. And once you're satisfied, simply hit play. This downloads the image directly to the laser, either over USB or Ethernet, and begins the job. Use Red and Gray 3D as the real-time feedback, which you see via the red dot here. We can pause it, we can resume, and of course we can stop. We can also have manipulated the image by rotating it or mirroring it. In addition, a new feature is the ability to save and send the current job to an SD card. This allows you to download an unlimited number of jobs and store them on the laser and run them later on. No computer required. Another feature new to Retina Gray 3D is the ability to drag and drop files directly onto Retina Gray 3D. Here I just drag and drop this image file. As you can see, it comes right through. We can invert the image, we can rotate it, we can mirror it, and we just hit play to send it directly to the laser. Also new to Red and Gray 3D is the design view. From here, we can draw simple shapes or enter some text, and we just hit render and it sends it directly to our program without having to open another program. New to Retina Grave 3D is the ability to generate 3D output from 2D grayscale images. Simply hit the 3D Engrave tab and then auto generate frames. Retina Engrave will create a number of frames that will be used to generate a 3D output on your laser. Each frame can be individually set for power and speed as well as varying Z height. Simply hit play and your 3D image will be created. For more information about Red and Grave controllers and software, visit us at fslaser.com.